Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you drop in a like as well. But in today's video, I'm going to be seeing if the old meta in Warzone is still overpowered as it used to be. If you guys don't know what that is, that is basically overkill with an MP5 and a Grout as your primary weapon. Both very good guns, both got a nerf at the start of Season 4. Still a lot of people use them in Warzone, but I've seen a lot of guns you know, coming out of the shadows, if you will, like the Kilo, the M13. They've been very dominant ARs inside of Warzone, which they are very good. But I want to see if the Growl is still as good as it is, and the MP5 up close is still an absolute machine. So we're going to hop straight into a game of Warzone right now. Hopefully we can get the dub. Hopefully we can see what this class up is capable. Of. Hopefully it's as good as it used to be. Let's just do it guys. Okay, we are landing at the air base I think this is the airport if you will. I think it's not it's even the airport I don't know what area of this map is but I'm really liking landing here on solo. We've got mp7 and a foul straight off the roof No one's actually landed on this roof. There's a kid dropping in. I'm managing to get some few shots off on him, at him But nothing too crazy. Uh, I've been playing a lot more uh, Warzone recently as you know I didn't really play this game a lot when it first came out. I played it a couple of times when it first was released and didn't touch it for a very very long time uh, I do prefer it as a guy in this hangar as well I'm a bigger multiplayer player than Warzone that's for sure and it has got a decoy just outside of uh, uh, trying to distract me or somebody else I don't know as my phone is going to do a big old ping that is not what we're after Doesn't uh, there's a guy running across the airfield as well don't think we're going to be able to get this guy just to fire some shots off at him Oh, we've got a sniper, we're going to definitely dip out of here real quick. Don't know where to go from here, I'm going to push downstairs, hopefully we can get something out of this. Don't think there's anybody below me right now either, which is good. Hopefully we can get some decent loot. I hate getting shotguns out of chests, I think shotguns in Warzone are just pointless almost. I just think they're definitely a very, very weak gun. Let me do a little bit of loot in here, see if we can get a better AR than the FAL. The FAL obviously is a very, very dominant gun. I'm going to take the SKS just for the simple fact it does have a scope and at longer ranges I do think it's better than the FAL. Uh, that's just my personal opinion, you, you guys might disagree. Um, but hopefully I'm going to try and go back up top and hopefully that guy in the airfield is definitely moved by now I presume. But hopefully we can see him somewhere that doesn't let anybody else knocking around on the rooftops as well. See if I can locate this guy. And no idea where he is right now. Not in sight whatsoever. I think there may be a guy pushing me. Oh my days. How is that guy killing me like that? Didn't even get a kill. He's pushed me with dead silence. We're straight to the gulag. He's using the fishbone. I think that's the problem sometimes when you crouch and you creep up on someone. They start shooting you. They get so many headshots. Uh, it's definitely a thing I need to stop doing. Uh, because I just get headshot every single time. That's the exact reason I died there. Hopefully we can win this shit, good luck, hopefully we can get straight back into the game and actually get a loadout drop and prove how good this class up actually is. Okay, we have got the SKS in the Gulag, hopefully I can put this guy to bed, we'll see, I'm going to try and get a little bit aggressive on him, no sign of him yet, not pretty him in the lane, see if I can get a stun off, I think he's left on the side, Let's see if he's pushed back to my spawn, I actually hate Gulags, I'm actually so bad at Gulags, I don't know what it is, I'm going to Molotov the middle so we can't get the objective, and he's up close. He's missing shots and we're going to manage to come out on top of that gulag. I'm going to land exactly where I died, I think. Uh, hopefully try and get my stuff back. That's the plan right now. I'm going to land a little bit short, I think. So I'm going to land just outside of the TV station. I do like to land here on solos a lot as well. Uh, the On top of the red building is probably my preferred place. I do land here a lot. Uh, so I'm probably going to land there, see if we can make anything happen. You do tend to get a lot of people. There's a guy in the red building in the centre with a green roof. Uh, well, looks like there is on the radar. Don't see anything right now. He's definitely down there though. I'm gonna get a gun and hopefully try and push that guy. I've got an armor plate and there's an MP7 I've just ran past. Another armor plate. I'll take the flash and I'll take the MP7. So pretty good to go. I'm gonna try and push this kid. Try and get some kills on the board. Obviously one kill from the Gulag so far. We want more. We want some more kills. So I'm gonna push this kid right now. Land on top. Hopefully he's still in here. Maybe not. Slide straight through the door and he doesn't seem to be in here. I think sometimes you've got to be aggressive in certain situations like this. If you know someone's camping in a building, just be quick, run up on him and take him by surprise. If you're creeping around and he hears you, it's going to be ready for you and waiting. No idea where this kid is right now though. Shots going down here. I've just seen somebody die. This kid's super weak. I'm going to have to push him, I think. He's going to peek. I'm going to stun him. Reload. I'm going to push this guy. This guy's dead. Hopefully, please still be stunned. He wasn't, but he's going to get beamed anyway. Nice little crack. 
will tell you that. And I keep getting this little glitch. See that? I can't connect to the servers. My PS4. My PS4 is still connected to the internet. Obviously, as you can see, I'm in the middle of a Warzone game. Um, it just keeps coming up. It's super, super weird. Super, super annoying. Uh, I'm trying to actually get that brewing. Thank you. And probably should have took the arm. Actually, I don't know why I didn't. There's a guy in a car. I just wanted to dip out of there. I felt super nervous in case somebody picked up on the fact that I just killed a guy there. Uh, they might have pushed me as well. Thankfully nobody did, but I feel like there still might be some people knocking around here still. So I'm going to play it safe, try and go to this roof, try and scout out the area a little bit, see if I can see anything that's going down. Don't see anything on this rooftop, nothing over near hospital. I'm going to try and go down here, try and get this buy station by myself a UAV, and there's a guy just outside this red building, did he see me? I'm going to stun him. It's going to miss, I think he did see me, he did see me, oh my days, you're going to die. Nice little headshot there. The headshot multiplier in this game is ridiculous. I think if I didn't get a headshot there, that guy might have even killed me. Thankfully he didn't run three kills right now. 59 people left, so there's still a lot, a long way to go with this game. I'm going to push inside here though and try and get on top of this building. See if I can see anything again. I think just in solo, scouting the area out instead of just running flat out is key. Um, there's a loadout drop just dropped in just to my right hand side. I think that's what that was, that flare. I'm just going to quickly check around. He must have picked it up, I'm not sure. So let's loot this kid had on his armor plates. Don't know why I didn't pick them up before. Didn't have anything else decent on him. So I'm going to go back over to where that loadout was. Hopefully we can pick someone out. I would like my loadout, but hey ho is what it is. Nothing we can do. I have no idea where this could be. He's going to have ghosts by now as well. Uh, loadout my loadout's dropping in as well. So I'm going to buy UAV real quick. Hopefully this kid has an overkill class and not a ghost class and we can find him okay yeah so he does he's in the blue building he probably knows i'm around here it looks like he's in the window looking over me and he's stunning me so he definitely knows i'm here hopefully i can find him out and kill him okay he's close to striking me he definitely knows i'm here okay don't think he's seen me move down to this left hand side i'm gonna try and get in the building take it slow and try and push this guy Obviously this building, if he hears me coming, then I'm kind of screwed. You can just post it. I think it's only one way into this place. I'm not 100%. But we should going to take it slow and try and find this guy out. That is the plan. Patience is key right now. I don't want to push something. I want him to just run into me like an idiot. I think I've hit him parachute off. Yeah, I did. I thought I hit him parachute off. He's in the loadout. And he's going to die. Nice little easy kill. He's going to be mad. Because he knew I was around here. Um and just sort of disregarded me so I would be mad with that death 100% thankfully we got that kid before he managed to get us patience was key there just being patient I think you know I could have run out full whack and just tried to melt this kid but I think he would have favored coming in I think he would have been dead 100% still nothing from that guy that was blowing me in that building didn't have a clue what he was doing so gonna go for my loadout get this loadout in obviously this is the purpose of this video I want to try and see if the MP5 and the growl is just as good as it used to be. So I've got the prototype growl gun that shoots purple bullets and obviously just the standard MP5 loadout. So hopefully we can do some damage with this thing. Hopefully. I still gonna have to be wary pushing past this guy in the blue building. Uh, as I know he is in there, but I just don't know where. And there's an arm satchel. That is a blessing in disguise, so well not even in disguise, that is a blessing. Hopefully we can get some a couple more plates just so we can have max capacity. I don't think there was anybody else behind me coming out of that town. Might be wrong. And there's a guy here, 48 meters. I'm gonna pop my dead silence, try and run up on this kid, peek this door so he doesn't hear me. I've no idea where in here he could be. He could be up top, he could be below, I don't know. My dead silence is gonna run out as well, which is annoying. Please, oh my days, I'm really scared now, so I'm sort of trapped here right now. You can hear me coming up the ladders if he is camping it which he full well could be. I have no idea what to do right now. If I push these ladders, I'm 100% dead. I can't really hear him. So what that means just sort of gives me an idea that he is just sat at the top of the ladders, not even moving. He's still at the top of these ladders. As the uh, storm is moving in, he's still here. I just want to see if I can wait him out a bit. See if he gets a bit nervous with the storm and decides to push me. The thing is, if he has a heartbeat as well, which he probably does, I don't have a ghost on. So it's going to know I'm here as well. So I think this is another one of them situations where patience is just going to be humongous. He's getting ready to jump. He's just moved a little bit away. Only slightly. 
I'm going to actually move down and try and jump. Here he is, landing in on me. I knew if I waited him out long enough, I would have managed to get that kid. Beat him outside, thankfully, jumping through outside one of the windows. And there's another guy dropping in on me on my days. Oh, my life. That kid is awful. What on earth? How did he not see me? That's, wow, okay. We'll take that two little kills, quick succession there. Just what we needed, you know, get players out of the way. That's the least. Where did that second guy come from? I don't know. Maybe he just dropped out of the gulag. I don't have no idea. I think the gulag's closed now, though. I don't even know. Maybe because in the buggy, you can, you're very, very open in the buggy. I don't really know. But for me, vehicles are just not for me. They just give away position instantly. Okay, I'm going to run towards here. Nothing on the heartbeat sensor at all. Oh, there's a kid running straight in front of me. Oh my god, the timing on that is impeccable. How that kid literally just missed me. Oh, there's an, there's an armor box. We will happily take that. That is unbelievable. The gas mask did take a little bit of a beating there. So hopefully I'll be careful of this storm right now. And I'm scared whenever I get a kill in the you know last couple of circles. Obviously, I have suppressor on, but people can hear these shots if they're close. So I just want to take a minute to see if anybody knows I'm here. There's a truck there, which maybe somebody's in the blue building. I don't know. I'm just to play safe a little bit, see if I can scout anything out. Right now, I'm just, I just feel like there could still be somebody behind me. It's just crazy how much people hug the storm like I'm doing right now. But people hug it to the extreme where it's literally behind them. There's a box in here, nothing up on the hills. There's literally nine people left, so that's why I'm being extra cautious. I just don't want to get caught off guard. Every death I get towards the end game in solos is just being pure taken off guard there's no one around me right now I don't think I'd be happy with that and let's hug this storm baby let's just go for it my low second loadout has dropped in I'm tempted to pick up my cold blood class uh, my ghost class should I say but I'm gonna leave it for now I want to use the growl and the mp5 obviously I don't have... mind you I could still pick up the ghost class and pick both these weapons up depends where it is I feel like I'm at a decent position right now because I feel like there could be somebody moving out of these garages. Definitely just don't want to get shot from the right. That's what I'm most nervous about right now. Harby at this point in the game is more or less useless. Most people are running ghost at this point in the game. And that's one of my nervous that's what I'm worried about as well. I don't actually have ghosts on. But solos, people still beg buildings. Like this building, there's hundred percent gonna be somebody in here. It's just inside of the old circle. Hopefully he doesn't know I'm here. If he has a heartbeat, he 100% knows I'm here. He, he, actually, he has a heartbeat, 100%. He would not have done that. Oh my days. And the MP5 close is going to beam you, my friend. Don't try and self res. You are going down. He was also using the ground MP5 setup. Super, super dominant setup still in Warzone. I would like to try the M13, but I'm not sure. That cluster strike, I'll take that cluster strike, actually. We don't need the armor box. We have one already. Which is nice. There's four people left. This is getting interesting. This last circle is actually where I won my first ever Warzone game. Right here. This is actually convenient. We could we have big potential to get the dub here. Hopefully no one's sniping because this is crazy open. This is where the grout is going to come in and it's going to be so dominant in this area. I don't actually see anybody yet. There's nobody around here. I don't have ghost. Heartbeat is going to be huge. If someone has a UAV, I'm screwed. If someone has a UAV, I've actually lost this game. Heartbeats, they have to be a little bit close. At least. I don't see anything right now. I thought I would have seen somebody. This circle is so small and open. I'm just going to beg this a second. There's three people left, so someone must have died in the storm. We're going to have to make a move in a minute. Three people left still. Eight kills on the board. This is getting super tense. I can just feel my heart be racing right now. We're going to have to make a move. We've only got 10 seconds. I'm going to drop my cluster strike as well to the back left. See if I can bring anybody in quicker than usual. Because they could hug the storm and just slowly creep in. But that cluster strike is going to make them sprint in. Still three people. Oh, someone just died to the storm. There's two people left. It's literally a one versus one. I can see him to my left. This is where the growl is going to absolutely melt this kid. Please don't be a sniper. Don't. Please don't be sniping. He's not sniping. He's super weak. I'm going to push this kid. We have the dub right here. C4, please. That's the worst C4 in the world. I'm so crap with C4s. MP5 is going to take this kid, please. And he's down. That is the W right there. Let's go. 
Warzone victory. It's my second ever Warzone win. The MP5 and the Growl is such a killer, killer setup. Wow. Super, super pleased with that. I can't believe it. Huge, huge dubs. That setup is just so overpowered still. Amazing. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby now. Hopefully, you guys didn't enjoy that video. Did not expect to get the W there. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy that as well. The Growl and the MP5 is still a very, very dominant setup inside of Warzone. As I'm sure you guys know, uh, I don't play too much Warzone, but I'm happy, happy to get that dub there. Very, very good. You get a super adrenaline rush, so it's, it's actually sick. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you do want to see more Warzone content, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more Warzone over multiplayer content. And I'll 100% be able to do that for you guys. I do enjoy playing this. I do enjoy playing Warzone. But yeah, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video. Any constructive criticism in the comments below is always appreciated as well. But apart from that, guys, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them, they're in the description below. But yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.